en question. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est ouverte. Nous allons entendre le témoin TCW84 qui va déposer depuis la France par vidéoconférence. Ms. Sakawati, could you report about the internet connection through France? Madame la greffière, qu'en est-il de la liaison Internet avec la France Sakawati, la greffière. The unit has already established Les services the techniques connection ont établi France, la liaison avec la France et test, le témoin est prêt à déposer. President, thank you. Le Président, merci. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Witness. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Le Président, Monsieur le Témoin. President, what is your name? Bon après-midi, le Témoin. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président. Le Président, comment vous appelez-vous? Answer. My name is Chiao Sokun. Je m'appelle Chiao Sokun. Thank you, Mr. Chiao Sokun. How old are you? Monsieur Chiao Sokun, quel âge avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My, I am 67 years old. J'ai 67 ans. Question. Question. Where is your current address? Où Answer. I'm living in France. Réponse. J'habite en France. Question. What Question. is your occupation? Quel est votre métier? Answer. Réponse. I've been retired for more than two years. Je suis à la retraite depuis plus de deux ans. Question. Can you tell the chamber your Question. father's name and your mother's name? Pouvez-vous nous indiquer le nom de and vos so parents? My Réponse. father is Chao Kan. Pour mon père c'est Chao Kan. And my mother's name Et is pour ma mère, Ning Chun. Both of them Ning deceased. Chun. Tous deux sont décédés. Thank you. Question, Mr. Chao Sokun. Monsieur Chao Sokun. In your capacity as a witness before en tant this chamber, que témoin comparaissant devant cette you chambre, are to take an oath or to make an affirmation based on your religion. Do you consent to it? Faire une déclaration answer, conformément yes, à I votre do. religion. Êtes-vous d'accord? Question. Réponse. Oui. The greffier, Sakawati, could Madame you? Madame la greffière. Je Lead vous prie and to main out for de the prêter serment au témoin. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez me. répéter après moi. I solemnly declare that je déclare I will solennellement speak the truth, que je dirai la vérité, toute la vérité et rien que truth. la vérité. Witness. Le témoin, I solemnly declare je déclare solennellement that I will que je dirai the truth, la vérité, the whole truth and nothing but the toute truth. la vérité et rien que la vérité. President. Le Président. Thank you, Mr. Merci, Monsieur Chao Sokun. As reported by the greffier this morning, through your best knowledge, you have no par relationship by blood or by law. Vous n'avez à votre connaissance aucun lien de parenté, que ce soit par le sang ou par alliance, avec l'une quelconque des parties civiles ou l'un des deux accusés. That is no G and Q and P. Is this correct? Yes, exact. Answer. Yes, it is. Oui. Thank you. Mr. Chao Sukun, as a witness Monsieur appearing Chao before Sukun, this trial chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question that à toute can question incriminate you, that is your right against self-incrimination. As for your obligation as a witness, you must respond to all the questions put to you by any of the parties or any judge of the bench. And you must speak of the truth that you have heard, have recalled or have experienced 
vu, entendu ou vécu ou observé directement concernant les questions qui seront posées par les juges ou par la partie. Comprenez-vous Réponse Oui. Thank you. Question. Mr. Chasukun, have you ever interviewed by investigators of the office of the co-investigating judges? Par des du bureau des co-juges d'instruction. Answer: No, I haven't. Non. Thank you. We would like now to give the floor to Kyo Sampan's defense to put questions to these witness before any other parties. Do you have one hour and fifteen minutes to do so? You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, everyone. Madame, Messieurs les juges, bonjour à tous. Good afternoon, Mr. Chao Sokun. Bon après-midi, Monsieur Chao Sokun. My name is Kung Sum On, counsel for Kiu Sum Pong, and I have some questions for you. My questions are related to your personal background and that of Kiu Sum Pong. Can you hear me clearly? Votre histoire personnelle et celle de Kyo Sampan. Est-ce que vous m'entendez bien Ah oui. Monsieur Mr. Chao Sukun, can you hear me Monsieur Chao Sukun, m'entendez-vous Yes, Kun, in fact, uh, maybe Réponse. you cannot hear me because I already replied to your question. Pas, car déjà à la question. Counsel, thank you. Mr. Yes, Kun, please observe a pause before you respond so that uh, un your voice will go through the interpretation ainsi system. Votre voix dans le système Please observe a audio. pause after the questions, otherwise we cannot hear you uh, in this court. Veuillez marquer un temps d'arrêt après avoir entendu ma question. Sinon, nous ne pourrons pas entendre vos propos. Witness, there is no red light on my microphone here, but I Ici, observe je there is a red light on yours. De voyant rouge sur mon micro. Par contre, euh, chez vous, je vois qu'il y a un voyant rouge. Yes, please. When you see the red light is off from my microphone, you observe a slight pause before you Quand respond. Vous voyez Allow me que to put le voyant rouge s'éteint. Veuillez attendre quelques instants avant de répondre. Mr. Chao Sokun. Laissez-moi vous poser quelques questions. Can you briefly tell us about your educational Monsieur, background? Pouvez-vous nous décrire Answer. votre parcours scolaire et académique? I was born in 1946 in Swaidong District, Mochiru Province. In 1946, the place where I was born, at that time, time it was under French. À l'époque, cet endroit and était placé sous le protectorat français. Mon village natal, sous cette partie du territoire mais par la suite, le nom a changé. L'interprète n'a pas saisi le toponyme. Quand j'avais 7 ans, j'ai étudié à l'école de Swaitong, à la pagode de Swaitong. The French and the Khmer languages were taught in that school. When I was eight years old, I came to study in Cambodia. I stayed with my relatives. And until 1958, I entered. I passed the exam to study in a college at a pedagogical school. It is still existing at the moment. It is 
located near the Independence Monument, monument opposite the Lanka Pagoda. That was the sixth grade at the time. À l'époque, c'était la sixième année. It was a school for training teachers who, by the end of their study, go and teach at en various cycle, colleagues and schools throughout the country. While I reached the second grade, Une fois in the old system, I went to study année, at Sisawat High School. At the time, it was known as a Bakduk. À on Bakduk. And then I went for a, a year study in scientific uh, area, and then I got a French scholarship an to study in France. Une bourse pour aller étudier en France, une bourse until I obtained my Française. master's degree in the practical economics at the uh, university in Paris. Dans une université parisienne. And after that, I became a cela, public servant. Je suis devenu fonctionnaire. Counsel, thank you. After you completed Question. your study in France, did you return to Cambodia? Vous rentrez au Cambodia? Answer, no, Réponse. I never returned to non. Cambodia. The first time I returned was in December 2002. Thank you. Question. Regarding Question. your employment, can you tell the court what kinds of work uh, you did before you retired? Quel était votre métier avant Answer. votre départ à la retraite? I worked at various Réponse. places. J'ai travaillé à différents endroits. Depending on the short-term employment or long-term employment, parfois first, pour first, de courtes périodes. Firstly, I worked in a printing house. Tout d'abord, j'ai travaillé dans une imprimerie. And then, I was the computer operator. J'étais informaticien. Uh, for making uh, goods. Before I retired and I was in that employment for quite a long time. J'ai occupé ce métier pendant Thank you. longtemps. My nice Avant question is related question. to your political view. Venons-en. Can you please tell the court politique. about your political view? Quelles sont vos opinions politiques? Answer. Are you referring to my general political view throughout my life vous or a certain period of time? En général, Counsel, vie, ou bien que vous à une it is your political view question. since you were at school until uh, the uh, current time. But this is just a, a preparatory statement for you and then I would ask you in for a specific uh, period of time. Ensuite, and the question is whether you are willing to tell us about your political view. Answer. Council interrupts. Please just say yes or no. Answer. Answer. Yes, I can do that. Council, thank you. Merci. While you were well, you was a student both in Cambodia oh, and in France. Au Cambodge, en France. Did you join any political activity or engage in any political tendency? Answer. While I studied in Cambodia, mm. Quelles étaient vos tendances politiques at the Réponse. pedagogical Alors school que j'étais au Cambodge à l'institut pédagogique there was a teacher trainee il y avait un enseignant stagiaire who was a more senior than me and he that student was of a progressive view 
C'était un progressiste. At that time, I was about 12 or 13 or 14 years old. Je devais avoir entre 12 et 14 ans. And I liked to hear those uh, seniors' views. Et j'aimais entendre. They talked Ils about the society situation in Cambodia at the time, sociale, the living conditions, etc. Ils parlaient des conditions de vie et ainsi de suite. And later, I left for la France, suite, and of course, I learned France, quite a lot from that view entendu, from those senior students. And if you want any details in that, I can elaborate further. And while I was in France through obtaining the French scholarship, France, après avoir which was bourse, in September 1967, there was no coup d'état yet in Cambodia at the time. Avant le coup because the coup d'état was on the 16th of March, late by Lunau. Au mois de mars, il a été and by the time of the coup d'état, uh, majority of the students et au moment du coup d'état who were about 25 kilometers from Paris in Oxe City. I had some Khmer students and there were about 30 of them. De Paris, là où il y and during une that period of the coup d'état, that is the 18th of March 1970, those uh, friends of mine who were students and uh, some friends who were in uh, Paris Mes amis étudiants to et d'autres amis parisiens to declare our support for the nous nous sommes rassemblés pour funk. manifester notre soutien en faveur du funk. So at that time we had our political stance nous firm avions donc and we une remained in that uh, stance ferme, since. Et nous n'avons pas changé depuis. Council, thank you. Question. You thought about the Progressive stance. Vous avez parlé Witness, I cannot hear you. D'opinion progressiste. Counsel. Le témoin, je ne vous entends pas. Can you hear me? La défense. M'entendez-vous? Witness, yes, I can hear you now. Oui. Counsel. La you stated about the Progressive uh, view while you were at the pedagogical school. Can you explain further on this uh, concept? À votre passage par l'institut pédagogique, pourriez-vous préciser? Allô, je suis sur. Cancel. Mr. Chao Sukun, did you hear me? Mr. Chao Sukun, have you heard me? He's gone. On a perdu la ligne. President, uh, Council, please uh, wait. There is some technical problems with the internet connection. We are confronted to a problem technique. The liaison internet ne fonctionne pas bien.
President, Council, you may continue putting the questions to the witness. Good thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Tiasukun, can you hear me? Monsieur le témoin, m'entendez-vous? Witness, yes. Réponse, oui. Council, before the internet Question. was disconnected, I was Avant asking you the questions regarding the progressive view while you heard about that at the pedagogical school. Can you elaborate further on this concept? Answer. Réponse. I was a teenager back then. To me, the concept was means to have justice in the society between the powerless and the powerful. That is just a general concept of, uh, of that view. And that's how I understood it as a teenager. And those senior students talked about the situation in uh, Cambodia at the time, and uh, they were around 25 years old, so much older than me. They talk about the, uh, the poor, the rich, des pauvres, des riches, and the capitalists and the businessmen in, in Cambodia. So the progressive Jew or stance was uh, to seek justice and equality for the society. Council, uh, thank you. Question. Question. Merci. You said just then that you decided to vous support the front while you were uh, students in France, and France. that was after the coup d'état to ça top or something like dans lequel My question Sam to you Sam is Sam the following. Inversé. What reasons Voici that led you to support vous a the front? À soutenir le front? Council, Mr. Chasukun, do you hear me? Sokun, m'entendez-vous? Mr. President, I'm afraid Monsieur the Internet is disconnected again. Apparemment, nous avons à nouveau perdu la connexion Internet. President, uh, Council, you Le may continue. Continue, Maître. Council, Mr. Chasukun, do you hear Monsieur me now? Chasukun, à présent. Witness, yes. Le témoin, oui. Council, my last question to you is the reasons that question. led you to decide to lend your support to the front after front the coup d'état through Topol Sandai Sihanou. Par lequel Can you tell us Sihanouk the reasons of your decision to support Pourquoi the front? Avez -vous décidé de soutenir le front? Answer. Réponse. At that time, we as students to support the front 
nous, and the reason was easy to understand. Nous avons décidé de soutenir le front pour des we raisons faciles à comprendre. That the toppling Selon of nous, some that see a coup d'état illegal. I mean, the, the coup d'état illegal. Illegal, although it was backed by the United Même States. Si that was our primary reason. Ça, notre Secondly, motivation. the coup d'état would mean the initiation of war in Cambodia. And these are the two main reasons. Voilà donc les deux de notre Thank you. Question. Did you know the main leaders within the front at the time? Connaissiez-vous à l'époque les principaux dirigeants du front? Réponse. The front inside the country was led by Sihanouk. And uh, there were some other important Il y avait figures whose names I cannot recall and they used to be diplomats. Ces gens who also avaient été diplomates et eux aussi soutenaient le front. Ils étaient them. plusieurs. And in Paris itself, à Paris même, there was a, a creation of an association une association a été mise en place. United Front Association. C'était l'association du Front Uni. And the chairman of the committee was uh, Khan. Le comité était présidé par Khan. I met uh, with him as well. Je l'ai rencontré. Council, thank you. Dang Pi. Question. Merci. You mentioned about the front and its movement. Vous avez to the best of your knowledge, did front. you know at that time that there was some forces inside Cambodia that uh, supported such y avait front or not? Du Cambodge Response. Qui ce front. After 1970, we received in some information through news en articles in French in France, en France dans des de that part of the information we obtained. Français. And we also received information from the radio broadcasts of the funk. I don't recollect the exact year that I obtained this information, but at that time when we were in France, we follow news uh, uh, from the Xinhua press, the Chinese newspapers about the resistance uh, movement in Side Cambodia. So Quand I learned of this movement through the newspapers, the Xinhua that I just indicated, and the radio broadcast uh, through the Funk Radio <coughs> Council. Thank you. I would like uh, to also Question. seek clarification Merci. whether you knew Mr. Kilson Pond already during si that uh, period of time. I mean, uh, the period of time after 1970. Until 1974, I heard of his name. But Kyo Sampan paid a visit uh, to Romania. And we were in France, led a delegation to meet Nous him in France that place in 1974, I don't remember the month. We were delighted uh, to mois. meet him because we received information about the resistance movement in Cambodia that was established. Car nous and that was the first time Cambodge I met him. Créé. It was in 1974. Council, thank you. Can you Question. be more precise uh, where you met him? 
You said that Mr. Kim Sung Pong went to Romania. Did you see him in Romania? En Roumanie. Étiez-vous en Roumanie lorsque vous l'avez rencontré? Response. Réponse. Oui. We met in Bucharest, uh, the capital city of Romania. I just Romanie. don't remember the date. Je ne me souviens pas de he la led date. a delegation, a Cambodian delegation, to visit délégation other countries, and Romania was also one of the places where uh, this delegation Roumanie. stopped uh, to visit. And we met in Bucharest uh, Council. Bucharest. Thank you. How many Question. people from your side uh, were meeting Mr. Kiel Sampon? Response. Dans votre délégation, I don't de remember the exact amount of people réponse, who went from Paris, but there were about 20 people in total. And I remember the person who led the total, delegation was Mr. Eng Sokan. And from Cambodia, we knew that Kyu Sampong was leading the delegation. And I remember another person by Je the name of Tun Chut Saren, Tun who Chut was Saren, in charge of protocol, and he was also from France to meet with Mr. Hun, uh, Mr. Kyu Sampong. Council, thank you. Can you Question. briefly Merci. tell the chamber, please, now, what was the topic uh, of discussion when you met with him at that time? Response. From France, réponse. we would like uh, to know about the resistance movement inside La the country, inside of Cambodia. I don't recollect the detail of the discussion, but I still remember some key points. Mr. Kilson Pan provided some information to us regarding the aerial bombardments by the Americans in 1973. He talked en about the casualties and the destruction, destruction as the result of these bombardments. And he also mentioned about the B-52 aircraft uh, that dropped these bombs, uh, and the bombs did not discriminate uh, uh, their victims. So the tragedy was uh, huge, uh, and uh, he talked about this tragedy. And secondly, he also reported to us about the um, resistance movement, about the progress that had been made, uh, the, the movement that was uh, supported uh, by the population. And thirdly, as I remember, Mr. Kilsonpon also mentioned that we had to do our best to make sure that the war in Cambodia could end so quickly. The war with the Americans and London must be stopped immediately so that we could rebuild the country now and into the future. That's what I remember. Uh, Question. Thank you. Question. Uh, did he also Merci. mention about how to end the war? Response. De la uh, to end the war was to gather all réponse. the national forces to counter the Americans and Lono. That was uh, the main point. Council. Thank you. Were you aware Question. of Merci. the victory by the Funk on the 15th of April 1975? Response. Yes, I was, but everyone was taken by surprise because no one 
expected that the victory would be won on the 17th of April 1975 because everyone expected that it would take much longer than that. But we were happy to see that the victory was won over by the Funk and the war was over that soon. Council, thank you. Upon knowing that the war in Cambodia was over, did you do something to follow the news about the development in Cambodia? Response. News uh, were, we received was very minimal. There were very little mentioning of uh, what happened in Cambodia after 1975 uh, on the news. And I personally do not remember having read much about what happened in Cambodia because there was not no information about this. Council, are you saying that the reason that uh, you do not remember the event because there was little uh, information back then about what happened? Response, I am talking about the information I obtained from the resistance uh, movement. Uh, it was... Uh, there was some form of information I received, but I am talking now about the information I obtained from the newspapers. There was very little uh, that was said about Cambodia after 1975 in those newspapers. And uh, it was not much covered uh, by the media in those days. Question. Thank you. Did you also Question. do Merci. your best on your part to see why there was some kind of missing information about the funk and its uh, victory after the victory? I mean, uh, witness, I think, uh, Council, you have to switch off that uh, mic before I respond. If the mic is still on, I won't answer as you instructed. Response, uh, I was suspicious, but I understood at that time uh, that immediately after the victory was won in 1975, we knew that uh, these people had to be bombarded or overwhelmed with a lot of tasks already that they were too busy to concentrate on rebuilding the country to communicate with other Après people in the outside world. Council, thank you. I now would like to talk a little bit Question. about uh, Mr. Kilson Pond, because as a witness today before Kilson us, Pond. your main role is to en testify on the character and personal conduct of Mr. Kilson Pond. My question to you uh, regarding this is that how much do you know Kilson about about uh, Mr. Kilson Pond in terms of his uh, character and conduct. Uh, Response. De I heard about him when I was still at the secondary school. I heard he returned from France. He was highly educated, and he was a parliamentarian. And uh, the Secretary of State for the Ministry of Commerce. His reputation was known to everyone, not only me, and his qualification was also well known. Everyone knew him as a clean person. And uh, I learned about him when I was 12 or 13 years old, and on top of this, when I was still in Phnom Penh during my youth time, I learned that he was mistreated because the secret police abused him, and uh, we learned about a congress secrète. that was uh, conducted On when Mr. Kilson Pond was uh, uh, stripped of his impunity. 
and he was removed from the assembly. And that's Monsieur what Cusson we heard Pan about him through radio broadcasts and from limogé. other people and from the news. I have learned a lot about Et him when time passed by. Council, thank you. Avec As a temps, person beaucoup, who beaucoup had an education question. in economy, and Mr. Kirsten Pond himself also graduated uh, in uh, his major of study was in economy. Did you study the thesis written by Kyosun Pon? Response, yes, I did. Uh, when I was uh, in France, immediately upon arriving in France, I read uh, his uh, thesis. And I could remember that uh, in that city he would like uh, Cambodian children to Et prosper and he would like Cambodia's economy to focus mainly on agriculture. And it is no doubt that during that time, Cambodia was not an industrial country. The country focused more on agriculture than on other uh, uh, other services uh, aspects. And we heard about activities. the middle person, about means of commerce being mentioned uh, in their dissertation uh, written by Mr. Kilson Pond. But that was more than 30 years thèse, ago, and I don't remember the detail. Now, Council, thank you for your explanation. Can you also Question. explain Merci further on the political tendency of Mr. Kilson Pond after you have read his dissertation? Response. Ont, At that time, I believe that he was one of the progressive people. Uh, he would like the country to be a clean country, a country uh, which has justice. And as a person who believes in democracy, I am not convinced that he would be a communist. Council, thank you. Question. I have Merci. some more questions uh, regarding Mr. Kilson Pond work and job. You appear to be testifying Pond. that uh, you have learned something about dites, what he did. Uh, My question uh, to you is now, did you follow what Mr. Si Kilson Pond did during the Sankum Drihniyum regime? Vous avez suivi les Response. De, uh, during Kion, the Sankum Drihniyum regime, de regime I mentioned a little bit already, uh, that uh, when I was still at high régime, school, uh, Déjà fait référence. As a où young man, collège, I liked studying so much. Et beaucoup étudier. Nonetheless, when I was the teacher at the institute, the National Quand Institute of Pedagogy, I also read uh, some thing about him. I knew that he ran a newspaper, but I, lu des écrits sur lui. Je and I knew that he journal. also uh, ran for the election aux as a candidate, uh, and he was against corruption. Et il mm. était contre la corruption. And I heard from other people that during election campaign, he uh, did not have the financial means uh, to um, start his campaign, but he was fully supported by cyclo drivers and other workers. Council, thank you. Question. Merci. After 1970, after the coup d'état, I mean, 
après le coup d'État, did you have any specific impression regarding Mr. Kyosun Pan's performance and personality response? Everyone was surprised. Uh, the de Everyone, even people Tout in France, France uh, were surprised. surprised. Même ceux qui We heard en France, rumor that Hunam and Kyosun Pan were plunged into a basin um, quoi, filled Kyo with acid. And we thought that uh, these people could have been dead because we lost uh, information mort, about them for quite some time. Nous étions sans nouvelles d'eux pendant un certain temps. But later on, in about 1973, Mais we saw them, we saw him receiving then nous Prince Norodom Sihanouk and his wife, and we were happy to see him Knew, knowing that they were still alive. De le revoir et de savoir Council, était thank you. Question, merci. What was your impression or sentiment of support regarding uh, your having seen him back again in 1973? Donc, vous avez vu en 1973 qu'il était de retour. It is simple. I was convinced, Réponse. I trusted him, and I trust him, he was, convaincu, uh, he is a respectful person, a proper man who is clean. So these are the key elements of quality in him Ce that we trust qualités, and respect. And uh, et que nous respectons. Dur during those days, there were very few Highly educated individuals like him who graduated abroad and who returned to Cambodia to help the country. And there were even few people who highly educated and concentrated on fighting corruption, finding social justice, so on and so forth, like him. Council, thank you. Do you, uh, did you know Merci. what Mr. Kilson Pond? did after 1970. Response. So far as I recollect, when I met him in 1974, in, uh, I remember him uh, being the Minister of Foreign Affairs, rather, of the, of the National Defense. Council, would you wish to add something else? Response, no, not really, but uh, he worked because he was very popular. His work was involving diplomacy and the popular masses. Then the military matters, affairs, because I can see that uh, Mr. Kirsten was educated et, uh, in France in economy, masse. not in Kirsten military. En France et avait Council, et non thank pas, you. Uh, Did you hear in militaire. France uh, whether Merci. Mr. Kirsten Pond ever engaged in the battlefield uh, leading or commanding soldiers? Si Response, Kirsten no, Pond never avait jamais uh, été actif sur le champ de bataille ou dirigé des troupes. Council. Thank you. Réponse non jamais. Question. Merci. Now regarding the Democratic Cambodia. I have a question for you please. Can you distinguish between the Khmer Rouge and the Phung? Were these two institutions different? Response. I did not understand the Khmer Rouge uh, term very uh, well. At that time, every progressive person would be regarded as a member of the Khmer Rouge. However, for the Funk, Funk refers to people who 
support who were nationalists, those who would oppose uh, the Lonol regime, those who really would like to support uh, the, the country free of uh, these Lonol people. And, uh, but I don't, I didn't understand the term Anka response. You talked about Anka and that you did not understand Question. the term. Vous what about the term, the term revolution? What is your understanding of this term? Response. Revolution was mentioned réponse. time and again La during those days. We heard about this in France. Époque, but please allow me to uh, tell this to the chamber that Mais je tiens à préciser in à la May, 1968 in France, mai 1968, everyone was France, concerned about uh, this uh, revolution. But in Cambodia, Tout le monde à la what I understood about revolution was to gather forces to free the country as soon as possible. Council, thank you. To your Merci. memory, what did Mr. Kyusumpon do uh, in Cambodia after 1975? Response. As I already Réponse. indicated, uh, after 1975, immediately after 1975, we lost, uh, we lost uh, information about this. But we learned uh, that. Then Prince Nor Ram Sihanou, uh, was no Prince longer in power, and that Kyusumpon was believed to be someone who was uh, Prince Nor Ram Sihanou's uh, successor as the head of state. Uh, it was somewhere in 1976, if I remember correctly. Si Council, thank you. Question. Do you know why? Merci. There was such announcement that Prince Norodom Sihanouk had to resign from his post. Response. Que le I was far from home at that time. I just don't know the real motive behind his decision, but I understood at that time that perhaps uh, Prince Norodom Sihanouk was too tired uh, with politics, or perhaps his health uh, does not uh, did not allow him to continue his uh, current position. Council, thank you. You mentioned about meeting Mr. Kyusumpon in 1974. Did you meet him on another occasion elsewhere? Response. I met with him on three additional occasions. The second meeting was... Uh, council, yes, you may proceed. Response. Yes. Uh, after 1974, I met Après him on three occasions. The second meeting was in 1989. At that time, Mr. Kyusampan led an, a delegation to negotiate uh, the Paris Peace Accord. And the meeting was very brief. We met him for one hour or one and a half hour, une heure ou une heure et demie. and that was the second meeting. The third uh, meeting was uh, in Notre December 2002. A eu lieu en décembre 2002. At that time, another friend of mine who conducted uh, a Buddhist ceremony 
to commemorate uh, the death of his son and his son's remains were, was kept at a pagoda in Thailand. I don't remember the name of that pagoda. When the ceremony was uh, conducted, uh, Mr. Kyusompon attended. And after the ceremony, we had a uh, meal together and we parted our ways. That was the third uh, meeting. The fourth encounter was in December 2005 when I came back to Cambodia to visit uh, my relatives who uh, came from Australia and elsewhere. And during this time, when I was uh, visiting my relatives in Siem Reap, I took the advantage of the opportunity to visit him in An Long Wang. And I was very happy uh, that I was received by him. That's the fourth encounter. And if you would like to know more about this, I am happy to say so. Council, thank you. Question. Can you Merci. explain to the chamber the personal conduct or character of Mr. Of Mr. Kilsenpon and please tell the chamber whether his then characters and behavior or personal view were the same or different from those that you uh, knew of him long ago. Response. At that time, the Khmer Rouge Tribunal was not yet established. He was still free to go places. I asked him a question. I asked him, whether he had any problem when he was traveling places. And then he responded this to me. This response impressed me. He said he had no problem traveling from one city to another because he was more like an ordinary Cambodian citizen. He could take a taxi or bus and some people who knew him uh, greeted him well and uh, some young people who also knew him shared the same public transport without any problem. So his popularity remained the same. And I also would like to pinpoint this, uh, that when I met him in 2005, I took a photo of him. And when I arrived at Siem Reap, I asked uh, one of my relatives who was about 70 years old, I showed him Mr. Kilson Pond's photo, and I asked him this question, whether he knew the person in the picture, and he said, yes, he was Kilson Pond, and uh, a lot of people still loved him. That's, that's the expression I learned from my relative because that re reflects uh, what I still believe uh, the quality in his popularity. So I can conclude that his po popularity remains unchanged. And uh, now uh, a lot more people share their sympathy uh, towards or with Mr. Kilsenpon and they hope that uh, justice Mr. will be served to him. Thank you. Can you also tell the chair if you Question. ever receive any information or come across any news that the uh, Kilsenpon practice or exercise a violent policy or made a uh, decision either within the domestic setting or in the political arena. Conduisant à des violences Answer. sur le plan Through national ou international. Kisampon is a person of a non-violent nature. Selon moi, Kisampon est quelqu'un de non-violent. a victim prior to 1970. And even after the Paris Peace Agreement, we 
in Paris été saw him, une victime. Saw him that he was attacked and he bled. Après les accords de Paris, His life was on a vu qu'il a été victim. attaqué et qu'il a saigné. Reason, Sa vie est celle d'une victime. Il ne saurait donc être quelqu'un de violent. And of course, to me, there is no evidence indicating that he Pour was moi, a violent person. Il n'y a rien qui permet de dire Counsel, thank you. que ça soit quelqu'un de fact that is on the Question. gathering of uh, intellectuals uh, for their repatriation to Cambodia after the 17 April 1975 uh, as Cambodge you were a former student uh, in 75. France vous avez vous même été étudiant en France your experience or uh, encounter Regarding Dans any propaganda to appeal to students uh, to repatriate uh, back to Cambodia? De la propagande qui aurait pu être faite Answer. parmi les étudiants cambodgiens uh, pour les inciter à rentrer au news that, uh, Réponse. Regarding uh, whether students were compelled to repatriate, il y a eu des informations contradictoires sur le point de savoir si in les France étudiants to force students to return. De France ont That été forcés à rentrer au pays. En réalité, les étudiants, dont moi, avons nous-mêmes demandé And à pouvoir rentrer au Cambodge. Nous avons indiqué notre place de birth, notre qualification, notre famille, notre métier, etc. Dans les formulaires, nous avons indiqué si nous étions mariés ou non. Moi-même, j'ai présenté ma candidature, mais je n'ai pas, 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 pas pu avoir un entretien en vue de mon rapatriement. Of course, we were surprised the country was liberated from local government on the 17 April 1975. My eldest son was born almost a month later, and my wife was just delivered the baby, and probably that was the reason that I was not yet interviewed for the repatriation to Cambodia. Et pour cela que je pas pu and some avoir of my friends were concerned that they would not Certains be allowed to repatriate to Cambodia. Of course, we Cambodge. had very firm view. Nous we were the front supporters, and of course, we wanted to return to our Nous Cambodia after the liberation. Après la libération. And uh, from 1976, some of my friends actually repatriated to Cambodia. Ont été rapatriés au Cambodge. Council, thank you. Question. Question. Can you tell us a little bit further regarding your application to repatriate to Cambodia? Where did you lodge your application? À quel moment vous vous êtes porté candidat pour And, uh, rentrer au in, Cambodge? In Paris, Réponse. if I recall it, si je me souviens bien, In fact, before the 1975 liberation, Avant la libération there was the uh, Fung. And after the liberation, Fung, that committee changed après la libération, from le comité Fung a changé. to a new name that is on for the uh, Cambodian expatriate students on a in France. So, we lot of applications en through this committee, and probably the application would go through the Cambodian candidat. embassy in France, and Je then go through Beijing, and then back to Cambodia. And allow me to repeat that. At that time, we were not forced to apply, to return, but we ourselves willingly launched our application. And, and in fact, I'd like to touch upon uh, another, another point that my wife was of a French uh, nationality. Ma femme, uh, Thank you. Nationalité française. Question, can you tell us who actually made a decision uh, which applicants would be granted uh, for the repatriation? Answer, uh, no, I did not know, but it is... Uh, à rentrer. My understanding is non. how many applicants uh, that they could repatriate at one time. And in my instance, because my Ça wife just delivered the baby, de the baby that's why I was fois. not uh, selected. Moi, ma femme à peine et Thank you. This is my last question. 
Do you have anything else to add regarding the characters of Mr. Kyu Sampon? Answer. It is my understanding that Kyu Sampon, and as I already stated earlier, is that uh, people, the Cambodian people in Cambodia should be asked about him, about his character, whether he is a man of a violent nature or not. And if we selectively only ask a handful of people, then that is unfair to him. Of course, in any country, there would be a few extremists, and we cannot just rely on a number of these extremists to judge a person. Council, thank you very much, Mr. Jazakun. I have no further Merci question beaucoup, for him, and Mr. President, I conclude my Monsieur questioning time. Le President, President thank you. Le Is there any question Merci. from your International Council? If not, we would like now to give the floor si to the prosecution cas, to put the questions to this witness. Uh, President, uh, le -procureur. the prosecution, uh, please uh, wait a little bit because uh, Judge Lavange has a le certain question Lavergne for this witness. You may proceed, to Judge Lavange. Je vous en prie, Judge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur yes, le Président. J'aurais en Mr. fait assez peu de questions à poser aux témoins. I have a few questions. Si j'ai bien compris if ce qu'il nous a dit jusqu'à présent, uh, to, uh, il to a rencontré Monsieur Que Sampant qui a Four times. Il n'a aucun élément d'information qui concerne M. Kessampan et son rôle no pendant la période de la démocratie. Et s'agissant de toute la période and avant 1974, il a simplement lu des informations dans les journaux ou entendu ses aînés, pour reprendre son expression, parler de M. Kessampan. Est-ce que c'est bien ce que nous devons Mr. comprendre Good afternoon, uh, Judge. Le témoin. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le juge. I'd like to add that. J'aimerais ajouter une chose. Mr. Kiel Sampon's responsibility during the period of 1976 in the placement of uh, some like CNO, I knew about that event uh, well. Pour ce qui est du moment où il a remplacé Sianou en 76. Je suis bien au courant de cet événement. Bien, donc j'entends que vous so nous dites I que comme beaucoup d'autres, vous avez pris that, like connaissance others, de ce que M. Kessampan exerçait des fonctions de chef de l'État, mais êtes-vous au courant du détail du rôle et des activités de M. Kessampan pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique May I speak now? In fact, uh, what I observed was that the main role of Kisupon was of a diplomatic nature le rôle that he de would pay visits to the United Nations headquarters or to various, at various other countries in Africa or to receive Par exemple, diplomatic representatives ou alors, in Cambodia. That's how I knew of his role through my friends who were in Cambodia. Je l'ai su par mes amis qui étaient au Cambodge. Vous aviez des contacts avec vos Did amis au Cambodge Vous aviez des informations par la presse or internationale Did you just get information through the international press Nang, 
The information I obtained was from both j'ai obtenu des informations à partir de ces deux sources. D'une part, par la presse concernant ses activités, même si je ne me souviens pas des détails. Et d'autre part, quand il a effectué des voyages en Afrique, certains de mes amis transitaient par Paris par téléphone et nous discutions par téléphone et c'est ainsi que j'ai été informé de ses activités de diplomate à l'époque. Alors, ces amis avec lesquels vous étiez en contact, so contact est-ce qu'ils vous ont donné des informations vous permettant information de douter euh, euh, du programme politique qui était mis en œuvre par les Khmer Rouges Est-ce que vous avez eu des doutes quant à euh, l'idéal de justice et de démocratie concept of auquel vous avez fait référence tout à l'heure We did not receive that kind of information. Nous n'avons pas reçu ce type d'information. Dans la presse, avez-vous lu euh, des articles qui faisaient état éventuellement de d'informations ou de rumeurs concernant des euh, persécutions, des massacres euh, dont auraient été victimes vos compatriotes? Which occurred in Cambodia. For example, did you read any articles from Father Poncho? Father François Poncho. I did read it, and I also participated in the meetings or the hearings by Father Poncho. He spoke about the evacuation of Phnom Penh, of Phnom Penh residents. Parler de l'évacuation des habitants de Phnom Penh. Of course, I read from the newspapers in France. And the message was consistent with what was delivered by Father Poncho. Qu'on y trouvait cadré avec ce que disait le Père Poncho. Et alors, euh, quand par la suite vous avez When rencontré M. Kusampan, vous lui avez posé des questions sur cette politique, about, uh, policies, sur l'évacuation de Phnom Penh, sur les rumeurs de massacres When we met Kisum Porn in '89, when he went for the meetings in anticipation of the Paris Peace Agreement, we did not speak in details regarding this matter, but we spoke about the immediate evacuation of people in 1976, 77 or 78, and we tried in fact to understand what happened. And then, what did Mr. Kusampan say to you? Did he say that he disagreed with these policies? Did he say that he disagreed with these policies? He did not tell us his clear status. Il ne nous a pas indiqué clairement quelle était sa position. But it seems that he did not have any role in the decisions of the killing of the people. Aucun rôle. He was not in a position to make any decision. This is my understanding. Il n'était pas à même de prendre ce type de décision. Voilà comment j'ai compris les choses. Monsieur, 
Comment pouvez-vous dire que M. Kessampan n'était pas à même d'avoir pris la responsabilité de telles décisions s'il n'avait pas posé de questions approfondies sur de tels sujets This is my uh, personal understanding. Il s'agit de ma compréhension of course, personnelle des choses. The nature of personality of uh, Mr. Kirsten Paul. C'est lié à la nature de la personnalité de Monsieur Kirsten Paul. he had no role to play moi, in the decision making. Il n'a joué aucun rôle dans la prise de décision. Because from 1926, en effet, à compter de 1976, party of Uh, Kampuchi, and we read uh, information and books about nous the CPK, and livres, that in nous avons eu des informations sur le PCK, communist uh, party, it was only the central committee, or the, the, the one in charge of the military, who would in a decision making a position. Militaire As for Kirsten Paul, he has no role Or, to play, he was Pong, not in charge of neither the police nor the military. Il n'était responsable ni de la police, ni des forces armées. Et vous lui avez demandé s'il avait participé à des réunions du comité permanent I never asked him on this matter. Je ne l'ai jamais interrogé à ce sujet. Alors maintenant, j'aimerais que well, vous nous parliez de ce que vous, de ce qui étaient vos activités personnelles à Paris pendant les Paris années 70 et in the 1970s and later. Est-ce que vous avez été en lien avec la mission diplomatique the, du Grunk The Grunk Diplomatic Mission in Paris. At that time, à cette époque, I personally worked as an active member of the community, un membre actif but au sein I de was la not a member of the Grunk. Mais je pas membre du Grunk. Of course, we had our working Bien sûr, relationship with the Grunk, but I was not a member of the Grunk. Le Grunk mais I je worked pas membre. for the uh, uh, community, au service de la communauté. for the uh, association. Au service de l'association. As I said, uh, the Grung, in fact, uh, dit, was initially known as the Fung, but later on it changed départ, its name. Le Grung était connu sous l'appellation de Funk, mais par la suite, le nom a changé. Alors, par la suite, monsieur, est-ce que vous avez fait later, partie de ce qui s'est appelé le Comité des Patriotes du Kampuchea Démocratique Comité des Patriotes du Démocratique Kampuchea. Yes, I was still oui. a member of that committee. J'étais membre de ce comité. Étiez-vous membre de ce comité en même temps que un certain monsieur Jet? At the same time Jet as a certain Chopininto. Mr. Je m'excuse pour ma prononciation, ça tout extrêmement défectueuse. C'était, semble-t-il, le Cambodgien qui était à la tête de ce comité à Paris. Je pense qu'il était le Khmer qui était le leader de ce comité à Paris. I do not know which person you refer to or the phonetic sound is not unfamiliar to me. En tout cas, it ce was Mr. Ensoukan who was the chairman of the Ensoukan committee with uh, some senior people. And later on, Mr. Metro Prolung became the member of uh, that association after the senior people uh, repatriated to Cambodia. Que les aînés ont été au 
Est-ce que vous vous souvenez d'un procès en diffamation qui a été intenté quand un journal français qui s'appelait L'Express the French magazine by the name of L'Express dans les années 1980 à la suite de d'articles qui euh, portaient des accusations précises ou peut-être un peu trop légères contre un certain nombre de Cambodgiens résidant en France. Yes, I know about this lawsuit very well Je because I actually attended the hearing of that case. Puisque j'ai assisté aux audiences dans le cadre de cette affaire. In fact, accused Mr. Nagchin Prolongcho. A accusé Monsieur Nagchin Prolongcho. Because of the uh, alleged wrongful. Au motif. Report, but then the court found that uh, this person, mensonger. Mr. Nguyen Pinonto, actually won the case against the L'Express. Était en droit et donc elle a eu gain de cause contre L'Express. Alors en fait, il well, a été reproché, fact, enfin cette uh, personne s'était vue reprocher par l'Express d'avoir rédigé des rapports sur les Cambodgiens candidats au retour au Cambodge démocratique. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire quel était exactement le rôle du comité des, des Patriotes Est-ce que le comité des Patriotes avait en charge de regrouper were, les documents administratifs et de les envoyer aux autorités du Cambodge démocratique avant to, uh, que les Cambodgiens puissent revenir. As I stated earlier, Mr. Ngachio Pinanto was the only recipient of the applications launched by students who would wish to repatriate to Cambodia. And I myself actually launched the application as well. And it is my understanding, it is him who would transmit the application to the Democratic Cambodia regime. Your uh, Honor, you may continue with your question. Monsieur le juge, j'attends votre question suivante. Est-ce que ces documents contenaient aussi des autobiographies also qui étaient demandées aux candidats au départ Et est-ce qu'il y avait éventuellement d'autres rapports et qui étaient également adressés aux autorités du Cambodge démocratique Democratic Cambodia Authorities Uh, as I stated earlier, I was myself je also launched the application. Je me suis porté the details of the application was about uh, my personal biography, Ma my name, place of birth, the number of children I have, and my wife's name. And there was no other requirements. For that reason, the L'Express who accused Nacho Pinanto of uh, this allegation, and it was unfounded, and Mr. Nacho Pinanto won the case. Et Nacho Pinanto a eu gain de cause en justice. Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous étiez à même de pouvoir vérifier quelles étaient les informations qui étaient envoyées au Cambodge démocratique No, I had no role to do that. Il ne m'appartenait pas de le faire. Est-ce que vous euh, savez, monsieur, you know, euh, quand sont partis witness, les derniers Cambodgiens volontaires pour last, le retour au Cambodge démocratique uh, Candidates for repatriation left for Democratic Cambodia. No, I cannot recall that and I didn't know that. 
je ne l'ai jamais su. I sometimes yes uh, accompanied my friends to the airport but I did not do that all the time so I could not know the last uh, trip et donc je ne sais pas à quel moment les derniers rapatriés sont partis. Avez-vous eu des nouvelles de vos amis qui sont partis en Kampuchea démocratique Avez-vous eu des doutes quant à un bon accueil qui était fait à ces Cambodgiens quand ils revenaient au Kampuchea démocratique We in France did not receive uh, that kind of information. Nous n'avons pas reçu And ce type de nouvelles. Comme je l'ai dit, après 1976, no il n'y avait plus d'informations en provenance nothing. du Cambodge. Nous attendions, mais rien n'arrivait. Et après, dans les années 80, avez-vous eu quelques nouvelles de certains membres de vos amis Avez-vous su euh, si certains avaient connu un établissement qui s'appelle S21 After The invasion by the Vietnamese troops in January 1979, some of my colleagues who left France fled from the attack by the Vietnamese troops and later on they returned to France. And they spoke about the, the, the former students who repatriated to Cambodia, some disappeared, and later uh, some returned. But immediately after that, uh, nobody talked or knew about S21. Ne connaissait l'existence de S21. Personne ne parlait de cela. Et depuis, monsieur, vous avez entendu parler de S21 then, Witness, et de Bung Trabek et d'autres centres de rééducation other detention centers. Uh, Response. I heard uh, that some of the detainees uh, were placed at Bang Trabai, and I heard about S21 through newspapers articles. But my friend did not know anything presse, about this. Mais, mes amis, ne savait rien à ce sujet. Et à M. Kiosampan, vous lui avez posé des questions sur ces questions sur, sur ce, à ce sujet Any questions on those matters Je, je n'ai pas eu de réponse. Je ne sais pas s'il y a eu une interprétation, si vous avez répondu, mais je n'ai absolument rien entendu. Est-ce que vous avez entendu ma dernière question, monsieur le témoin Monsieur le témoin, vous pouvez m'entendre Vous pouvez capturer ma dernière question The president, uh, we have internet problem again. Please hold Nous on. Avons à nouveau un problème avec la connexion internet. Veuillez patienter.
Hello, welcome to the conferencing. The President, uh, Judge Lavergne, you may now proceed. Bien, merci. Allez-y, Judge Lavergne. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Témoin, est-ce que vous m'entendez? Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, are you able to hear me? Monsieur le Témoin, m'entendez-vous? Mr. Witness, are you able to hear me? Witness response inaudible. Réponse du témoin inaudible. The President. The President. It is now appropriate moment already for the adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 30 past 3. Mr. Witness, uh, we may now adjourn, and uh, if you cannot hear us, uh, we believe that the graffiti of the trial chamber will communicate this message to you. Monsieur le témoin, nous allons suspendre l'audience, et l'huissier d'audience vous communiquera ce message si vous ne nous entendez pas.